we go. Uh, good. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Today, this is today's Thursday Torah texting challenge. The last one. The last one of the year. The question we posed this morning was: A literally ten-year-old boy goes into a store, goes into Max, and he purchases a small store for ninety-nine cents. It costs him a dollar twelve with tax, but only has to pay a dollar ten because there are no more pennies anymore. So it costs him a dollar ten to buy the Slurpee. Guess what? The money was on his. He actually stole it from his mother's wallet. The mother hears that her son went to Max and purchased a Slurpee, approaches the store manager and says, that money that you took is really my money. My son stole it when he purchased the Slurpee. Does the store manager does he have an obligation to return the money back to the owner, who in this case is the mother? No, the answer care. is the child is 10 years old. The question uh, you have to yeah, ask yeah. ourselves is, is it normal for a 10-year-old kid to go into Max and purchase a Slurpee? Yes, the answer, yeah. I believe, is yes. It wasn't a $20 ticket item. It wasn't a car. It wasn't something that was outrageous. Slurpee, we do it all the time. I give my kid a loony or a toony. Go buy your own Slurpee, kid. Learn. Very important message. So, therefore, it is not... Even it was not really a mekkah because the owner received the money from a kid and he does it all of the time. There's no reason why you should be suspicious of a 10 year old kid putting a dollar ten on the table. And therefore, he does not need to return the money. The mekkah is chal. He can return it if he wants to, but mikaradin, he does not need to. And the mother needs to learn to be more careful, uh, have some type of conversation with her son about stealing, because that obviously is the much greater issue. In this case, if the item would have been a, you know, um, can you please buy me a $75 pair of shoes, pack of cigarettes, okay, pack of cigarettes, other implications, then obviously if an owner or a store manager would have taken money from a child, which is not normal for a child to purchase, then it would be a megachto, and then you have to do the exchange of the item, or at least the money. That is the, what was that? Hang on, that is the Thursday Torah texting challenge for today. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.